Wakey, wakey, campers! These 50 modern holidaymakers have agreed to give up their usual summer trips for two weeks at a traditional 1960s holiday camp. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. In the 1960s, holidays were all about family fun, mixing the generations and simple pleasures close to home. A far cry from today's obsession with luxury and isolation. Welcome to your sunshine coach. Give it a cheer. Yay! On the beautiful Isle of Wight. Right, well, I would like to see two people this evening in my office, please, at half past five, promptly in my office, half past five this evening, Mr. Oates and Miss Della Ragione. Half past five, my office. Thank you. <sighs> Fancy, so we've got to go and see the Major. Sober. <laughs> sober? <laughs> I'm always sober, Tubby. Oh, God, do Oh, dear, I'll have to go and arm my trousers and <laughs> wash my shirt. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah, they call me Chubby because I'm a little fat geezer. My name's Arthur. No one's called Arthur. Cheers. That's why they call me Chubby. Now retired, one of the good things is about to spend more time in the pub. I think it's very handy for him to be sandwiched between two pubs. Real ale. You can't beat real ale. You don't want this stuff, this fizzy, junk, foreign lagers and things. Proper beer. But I'd like a pub, I mean, not just for the drinking, but the social side of it. And that's why it's like the holiday camps were in the old days. Sociable. Bus past booze thief Chubby Oates has dressed up for his dressing down with the Major. Hello. Yes, sir. Do sit down. I've received um, some evidence that you might have been involved in last night's little session which resulted in those two boys being expelled. Do talk to me about it, please. Well, I thank you for your apology. I shall bear that in mind too. Okay, sir. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. Thank go you. and sin no more. I'll have a go. Thanks. No, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it at all. Uh, I do. I'm ashamed that I did do it, and it all boils down. But uh, on the other hand, it was a giggle. Now at nine o'clock, we do need you outside, please, because Major Reese has requested all of us to be at the Tiger stage, okay? And when he says jump, we say... Oh. No! <laughs> Quick! It's punishment time for Chubby and Joanna. Well, he's, he's making everyone congregate in front of the stage, so probably something stupid. <laughs> Which I'm really not in the mood for at the moment. You got to hold me in. Oh, yeah. It's all right, Tubbs. It's all right, mate. I'm here for you. As we know, ladies and gentlemen, this morning uh, there are two people to receive forfeits. Five, four. As a first offence, it's the sponge and bucket for them. <laughs> Holiday camps developed their own brand of cod medieval discipline. Public humiliation was often used as a good humoured way of dealing with troublemakers. <laughs> That's it. I've got a bit of water in my pipe. Oh, no! <laughs> Are you regretful? Incredibly. Incredibly regretful. Round of applause! Woo!